wanna see something? Yo, y'all wanna, wanna see something? Yes, I wanna see something! <laughs> I started my camera. Welcome back to the Big Five, and we are continuing our five months of the big summer blockbuster. And you know, it's almost over, Vince. We only have one more month left. So anyway, our next big... Pretty big, Vince. I know, it's pretty big. So our next big... How big is it, Vince? Shut up, Dave. <laughs> Seems like it's pretty big. So our next big movie in the big five, this really big movie that I've been actually waited for all summer long. I, I've really been anticipating this film. Huh? Suicide Squad. And it's brought to you by the Maniac Squad. <laughs> We've got to be maniacs to be able to do this. Several weeks ago, the reviews started coming out for this and they were terrible. I don't think I read one good review for this movie ever. I, every single review for this film has just said it's the worst thing ever. Thinking that it's gonna be another Superman versus Batman which both you and I hated. So I wasn't even gonna go see this. When I saw the first trailer for this it looked terrible. It looked as bad as Batman versus Superman was. And then the second trailer came out, and they did something different to it. I don't know exactly what it was, but they changed the tone of it. And they added a different song, obviously. It was, I think, Bohemian Rhapsody from Queen. Whatever that did to it, it actually made it look a whole lot better. When I had bought that Batman box set, the trilogy, the Dark Knight trilogy, it actually came with an $8 toward Suicide Squad. And I wasn't even going to use that because, you know, cause once, the, once the reviews came out, I told my wife, oh, this is terrible. It's supposed to be terrible. She's like, I told you, I told you it was going to be terrible. And I was just like, you know, all right, well, I guess I guess I'm not going to see it because I didn't want to be a, a disappointed again like Batman versus Superman. But then a friend on Facebook, his name is Lee Webb, who tried to be on here today, but he's having computer difficulties. He went to go see it and he told me, don't listen to the critics, go see it. And I'm like, all right, so he's the reason why I went to go see it, and that's why I wanted him on the review to get his opinion on it, too. But as of right now, he's not able to get on here. Well, I was going to go see it regardless, and I don't read reviews. I don't ever read reviews. I don't read them, but it's just impossible in the, in the day of the Internet and television, and you turn anything on, Suicide Squad, horrible, awful, horrible, you know, it's just like, I can't avoid it. Well, I was going to say that, I, I mean, I've seen all the headlines, you know, for articles and stuff, all through Facebook, all through Yahoo, wherever, and yeah, that's what I was seeing too, I was seeing that, that, that Suicide Squad was terrible, it was bad, it was the worst DC movie ever made. All kinds of stuff. And I am so glad, Vince, that I went to go see this movie because I absolutely love this film. I love this movie. And I would say that I really enjoyed the film. I, I liked a lot of it, a whole lot of it. I loved it a lot better than Batman vs. Superman. It was a whole hell of a lot better. But I didn't have a few small issues with it. Yeah, I, I can already tell you I know what your issues are, but let me tell you what my issues are not. The fact that this was just a fun popcorn film. This reminded me of back in the day when you would just go to a movie during the summer, you know, get your popcorn, sit there, and just enjoy it. And that's what this is. You know, it's not Captain America. It's not Iron Man. It's not the Avengers. It never, ever will be. It's just a fun action film, and love the characters, love the story, love the villain, loved all the action. I mean, there was, I thought it was just a great action film. What a ride! I thought the story itself was not that strong of a story. I thought it was kind of weak. I'm not saying I hated it, I'm saying that it was just kind of weak. It was like, they're doing all this, because of these two people. 
you know, it, it was a big build up to them uh, uh, saving the universe just because these two people were in love with each other. Well, it had nothing to do with that. I mean, the, the villain, and I mean, that's what caused the, the villain to, I don't want to give that many spoilers away here, but it had really nothing to do with that. I mean, seriously, it was, the, the villain was just trying to take over the world, and, it, and she just happened to be the lover of this person coming after her. They didn't go there because of that. But that's the way it ends up. No, I mean, she, he was in charge of her before that happened, you know? Because they were creating that team when that happened. So it just happened to happen when they were creating the team. And he's dragging the, he's dragging the team along with them. Well, yeah, but that's not the purpose of it. You're actually, you're saying that's the whole purpose of it, and you know that's the reason he is going there. But it happened after the fact. Okay. Well, anyway, the the other issue I had with this, I was really disappointed in the Joker's performance. Mostly, yeah. mostly because of his talking. Oh, I'm not gonna kill you. I mean, it was like I could not understand a word he was saying. I'm just gonna hurt you. Really, really bad. I, I had zero problem understanding a word. I, I understood every single word he said. Every word. Never had a problem. Never. Nothing. I mean, if it wasn't for the actions that he was actually taking, I would not know why he was even in there. Blah, blah, blah. Because it was that bad. I mean, it was like... Oh, the chit chat's gonna get you canceled. Well, that chit chat's gonna get you hurt. Maybe it was just the sound in your theater or something because I heard every word perfectly. No, no. Reply. Oh, the chit chat, the chit chat, the chit chat, the chit chat. I had zero problem understanding it. I don't really know. That wasn't even a thing for me. I mean, it wasn't even. It wasn't even a thing. I, I thought it was terrible. I'm known to be quite vexing. I'm just forewarning you. You die. And like I said, it wasn't what he was doing in the film that was bad. It's just I couldn't understand him. I can't wait to show you my toy. This is my thoughts on the Joker in this film. And he's only in the movie maybe 20 minutes. I don't think he did a terrible job. I don't think he was the best Joker in the world. There's some scenes that I absolutely loved him in. I really loved him in the scene where they were in the strip club. And the guy was talking to him, you know, about Harley Quinn. I love that sequence. And I love the sequence where he's sitting there with all the knives around him. The last thing I will say about this, too, is you and I have done reviews for, like, The Expendables. And we've done reviews with, well, we did our last, our first review of The Big Five was uh, Civil War with Captain America, where you had all these different characters all these different people and each one of them got their own time and their own moment and none of it overstepped on anybody else in all those movies this one it seemed like it centered all around Deadshot and Harley Quinn and that kind of surprised me to tell you the truth was that he's basically a star him and Harley Quinn are the stars of this film but then again you know they paid Will Smith 200 quadrillion dollars to be in this movie so of course he's going to be the star of the film. And I'm not saying that they that the other characters didn't contribute anything into the film. They did. They have their moments in it, but a lot of their moments are origin story related. Deadshot and, and Harley Quinn were like pushed to the front. Like, this is all about them. And it actually, like what I was saying about the story, it actually ends up not being about them. It's about this other couple. I loved... The villain in this movie. I thought she was creepy. I thought she was very evil deadish. It was very Ghostbusters like. I thought she was a fantastic villain. I, I thought she was amazing. I loved the whole transformation between her and the other thing. Loved all of it. Thought it was super fun. Just, you know, a great film. And that's what I said at the beginning of this. I thought it was great fun. I did get, I was entertained. I enjoyed the film. I don't think it's as horrible as all these critics were saying at all, but I just had those small issues with it. And the Joker, I think, was the biggest, my biggest issue, if anything, was just not being able to understand him. And the thing about Deadshot and Will Smith is I thought he was great in this film, and 
you know, I think like a lot of people, they're tired of Will Smith because he's just been kind of making mediocre stuff as of late. Really mediocre stuff. And everything he's in, he has to put his son in, which I think a lot of people, turn, that turns them off not wanting to go see it. But in this, I, I thought it, it was his big return. I thought he was absolutely fantastic in this movie. I loved his character. I loved, loved his performance in it. I thought he was funny. He was a real cool character. And yet, he was the lead character in this film. And I enjoyed Will Smith's performance as well. I could understand him. He talked right. <laughs> and one last thing i got to say about this is I've always loved the Harley Quinn character. I mean, ever since I saw her in what is the greatest, obviously, the greatest animated show of all time, Batman the Animated Series, ever since I introduced her into that, I just loved her character. And it was almost magical to see her finally come to life because, you know, this is the first person who's ever actually physically played her in, in anything. And, oh, it was just, oh, it totally fell in love with her character all over again. Such an amazing performance by her. She really captured Harley Quinn. Her insanity and her, you know, when she was somewhat normal, bringing that into it as well. Loved it. Absolutely loved it. She was incredible. And I would totally agree with that. And... I used to watch Batman the Animated Series. I saw several uh, episodes where Harley Quinn was in it, and I absolutely loved her character then, and I, I, I've, I've liked her character all along. And yeah, to see Margot Robbie bring her to life on screen was just fantastic. I mean, she did an absolutely fantastic job, and, and, and is the, one of the best parts of the film. So overall, again, you know, I went in this movie expecting the very worst. I was expecting another Batman versus Superman. I came out, and everybody, not just me, everybody who was coming out of this movie theater was great. I mean, they were all laughing, and they were they were joking with each other, and they were talking about it, and they all enjoyed it. Same thing with me. It's just it's just a, a popcorn flick. It's not Civil War. It's not Iron Man. It's not the Avengers. You know, it's not as epic. Thing. It's just a fun action film, and that's what I love. And that's why I go to the movie theaters to be entertained. And I was super entertained through this whole movie. So I give this movie. This is the deal. A five out of five. My biggest issue with it was just the Joker and not being able to understand him. If I could understand him a lot more, I probably would have enjoyed his his part of it a lot more but overall I enjoyed the film and it was it was a good film it was a good fun action flick just like Dave said nice popcorn flick nice good movie for the summer and I would have to give it a 5 out of 5 as well so we have the rest of August and into September left for the big 5 so don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you can come back and see our non-professional, professional, non-professional non reviews of these movies. Box Office Maniac Squad. Even though it makes no sense, well, who cares? Neither do we.